Good day to all. Welcome to Extreme Recap. In late 2007, the Iraq War is slowing down. The rebuilding efforts have begun as a result of President Bush's declaration of victory. Sergeant Isaac, a spotter, and Sergeant Matthews are shipped off a pipeline development in the Iraqi desert. The American workers at the site have all perished. So presently it is their main goal to find the offender before they send new developers. Under the waning sun, the soldiers watch the area from behind a mound of stones and bushes. Also, 20 hours passed without anything occurring, Matthew starts becoming eager and begins to think there are no Iraqi troopers left. What's more, taking into account the dispersed bodies, the site probably been gone after by a group that left in the wake of finishing their main goal, Isaac brings up there are no signs showing a major gathering moving around here and brings up that since every one of the specialists were killed by headshots, this might have been finished by the unbelievable expert Iraqi sharpshooter known as Juba. Matthews, on the other hand, believes that no one could kill this many people in less than 30 seconds. Matthews eventually gets sick of waiting and descends to inspect the area more closely. After Isaac was asked to cover. Isaac explains that he is losing sight of his scope. Matthews makes fun of him for not changing it sooner, but Isaac finds this one significant because it belonged to a fallen friend. Matthews then moves from one body to another. Looking for clues, he confirms that everyone died from precise headshots and begins to believe Isaac's theory. He goes to the center of the site to sort out the conceivable course of the shots, while Isaac beseeches him to withdraw. In any case, out of nowhere a shot is heard, and Matthews tumbles to the ground, experiencing extraordinary torment in his midsection, frantic to help, his companion. Isaac runs down in a crisscross way to stay away from any approaching projectiles. However, he is shot in the leg just as he is about to reach Matthews. Isaac must choose the option to abandon Matthews and hurry to take cover behind a messed up wall, enduring yet at the same time alive. Isaac is contacted by Matthew, who advises them to call the base and request backup. But first, Isaac sees how bad his leg wound is, so he ties a belt around it to stop the bleeding. After that, he took his radio bag and tried to get in touch with the base, but he couldn't because the sniper had shot the antenna. Isaac ignores Matthews when he warns him that the sniper will notice any movement and shoot him again when he suddenly contacts him again and asks him to spot the sniper so that he can aim at him. When Isaac begins to use his knife to cut a hole in the wall in order to insert the scope, some falling rocks hurt his hand. Matthews then, at that point, continues to endeavor to go after his rifle, just to pass out on account of not having any desire to end like his companion. The process by which Isaac removes the bullet from his leg with a blade is extremely painful. Then he swathes the injury prior to dropping also. Some time later, when Isaac hears a strange sound coming from his earpiece, he wakes up. An officer from the base turns out to be the culprit. And Isaac starts reporting the situation and pleading for medical supplies right away. However, when the officer asks him a lot of strange questions, he starts to become suspicious. Most importantly, he asks him to either reveal his precise location or stand up and fire in the air, claiming that this is necessary for the helicopters to accurately drop supplies. Isaac brings up this as against convention and will seriously endanger him. And when he starts to pay more attention to what the man is saying, he recognizes that his voice is not American. This is Juba the sharpshooter who has hacked into the radio frequencies to attempt to lay out a snare. Isaac doesn't get bulldozed and gets down on him. Yet, rather than hanging up, Juba starts asking him inquiries, guaranteeing he needs to realize Isaac better. Isaac tries the radio once more, but it doesn't work. He must be made by Juba. And when Isaac declines to respond, Juba makes the risky threat of reshooting Matthews, which is risky because there is a possibility that he is still alive. Isaac agrees to talk for a while and asks Juba to go first while he draws a map of the battlefield on the ground to calculate the trajectory of the bullet and determine where the sniper might be. Isaac is asked to tell Juba about his family after Juba tells him that he is just a regular Iraqi citizen who wants to save his country. However, Isaac argues that this is too intimate. After that, Isaac mocks Juba's reasoning by claiming that he is murdering those who are actually attempting to develop the nation by bringing schools pipelines, and infrastructures that will boost the local economy. This makes Juba chuckle. Furthermore, he makes sense of that the cash made here will be sent back to the USA later. 
Juba keeps asking questions as time goes on. However, Isaac continues to refrain from sharing any intimate details about himself. Making Juba vowed to shoot Matthews once more. Isaac, on the other hand, no longer accepts his claims that he is dangerous. Isaac hears Jupiter quote Matthews earlier and learns the name of the scope's previous owner. Prodding this implies Juba has been paying attention to. Utilizing his degree, Isaac takes note of one of the deceased. Carries a radio with them, and he drags his body to the wall's edge without using anything to reach it without exposing himself. After that, Isaac tries to drink some water from his bottle, but the hole in it makes it empty, which Juba claims was his deliberate action. Additionally, he admits that he did not miss any shots. He explicitly shot the container, the receiving wire, and Isaac's leg, which he will enjoy hearing through the communicator, to place Isaac in an unavoidable circumstance and slow down his death. Isaac severed his leg when he found the bullet. He investigates and starts working out the weapon model Juba has by making a few subtle inquiries. He also refers to Juba as a terrorist, which makes Juba laugh once more because he points out that the Americans are the ones illegally entering a foreign country with weapons ready to kill. While Juba is speaking, Isaac conducts additional calculations and examines his scope until he comes to the conclusion that Juba is concealed beneath a sizable pile of garbage. He has been in these difficult circumstances for a long time. In addition, the overwhelming heat indicates that this individual is indeed. However, Juba asserts once more that he is a regular Iraqi man and denies being the well-known sniper. Isaac assumes that Juba is a former U.S. citizen based on his accent. Officer in the army who betrayed them. Yet, Juba excuses this also and makes sense of he just kills individuals that assault him. First. Isaac responds by recounting how he first met his best friend as a child and how they later enlisted together as adults. Before long, harshness and fatigue start scarcely affecting Isaac, who collapses to the ground when he hears Juba say he will staff his tongue to his chest. Next, Isaac tries to fool Juba by waving his rifle above the wall while wearing a jacket and helmet. However, Juba does not succumb to it. The helmet does fall, landing on the opposite side of the wall. So presently Isaac can't safeguard his head all things considered. He weeps at the sniping point caused by such a stupid error. Isaac becomes sufficiently desperate as time goes on to attempt to take a risk. Before returning to the wall, he steals his radio and bag as he runs toward a body lying on the ground. As he avoids every one of the disasters, Juba quickly tosses at him taken care of. Isaac discovers water within some candy. Sadly, However, this radio is also inoperable. Additionally, as retribution for this risk, Juba shoots at the wall and severely damages a scope. Isaac realizes that Matthews is still alive when he hears something strange from his earpiece. Isaac hollers the area of the expert sharpshooter at him, and Matthews quickly takes out a piece of metal to use to check out at the heap of trash. Isaac keeps the sniper distracted by making small talk while Matthews moves extremely slowly to grab his rifle, and Isaac tells the sniper that Juba used to be a teacher in Baghdad. He made the decision to exact revenge after his students were killed in an American attack. Isaac is hiding behind the school's decrepit wall. Then Juba asks Isaac while he continues to convey the harm's scope. Juba, on the other hand, threatens to shoot Matthews once more if Isaac does not respond. Frantic to save him, Isaac admits that he keeps the extension in memory of his close buddy who kicked the bucket in light of a misstep Isaac made, he actually feels remorseful. Matthews sits down with his rifle and shoots with all of the bullets he has at the trash can. His Isaac also shoots to act like. Juba suddenly fires back at Matthews, hitting him right in the shoulder as he is about to reload his weapon. Matthews is instructed to crawl toward Isaac in order to seek safety behind the wall. However, Tragically, when Isaac goes near the edge to help, Matthews is hit in the head by Juba. He passes away while Isaac watches, and he finally breaks down and says he wants to go home. Isaac is informed by Juba that he will not shoot him if he truly wishes to leave. However, Isaac is skeptic. Afterward, Juba asks Isaac for what valid reason he is still there, regardless of the conflict being now finished. Before responding, Isaac takes a moment to reflect. He is present because he was the one who actually killed his former friend. It turns out that he shot his previous sniper partner by accident while attempting to kill an adversary. Additionally, Isaac has deceived everyone. 
Isaac suddenly hears some noise coming from the radio after seeing that the bad guys had killed his friend. He rushes to check the signal, being pleased to hear conversation. However, his happiness is short-lived because, despite the fact that he is able to hear voices, Isaac Shock Juba joins the conversation that he is hearing. As a result of the damage that the radio caused, he is unable to send any messages. Additionally, when requesting assistance, the man calls Isaac's name. After all this time, Isaac finally realizes that Juba has been eavesdropping, pretending to be a soldier, requiring assistance to quickly and easily bring back teams to the area and eliminate all of them. Isaac tries unsuccessfully to interrupt the conversation due to the surprise factor. Some time later, Isaac awakens to the excruciating sensation of a crow, pecking on his leg wound. Isaac takes a chance and uses some rope and a stick to retrieve Matthew's rifle because even the birds think he is dead. Then he points it at the heap of rubbish. Helicopters arrive at the location at that moment and reveal Isaac's location without his knowledge. This is a snare, needing to save the approaching warriors, Isaac pushes the wall to make it disintegrate, making a drape of residue that makes it difficult for Juba to get. Without knowing whether he has hit his target, Isaac begins firing at the trash can. Isaac finally gets up from his position to find out, and he is shocked to see that Juba is not taking advantage of this opportunity to fire back. Isaac believes he has effectively killed Juba as a result of this. The helicopters arrive quickly and quickly transport Isaac on a stretcher, providing him with immediate medical attention. Isaac tries to explain Juba to them. Be that as it may, he can't be heard in view of the commotion from the helicopters taking. Abruptly, Juba begins taking shots at them, killing the clinical officers individually, prior to stirring things up around town too. The helicopter rapidly goes down and crashes on the ground, in a flash killing Isaac and permitting Juba to stay true to his promises and commitments. Actually, Isaac had not been shot. Then, in an effort to entice his subsequent team, Juba hacks back into the USA lines while pretending to be a soldier. Turn on notifications, please subscribe for more videos like this, and like the channel to support it. Thank you very much for watching.